Recommendations from the Hawksbill Creek Agreement Review Committee revealed in Parliament today by the nation's chief. If approved, those recommendations can change the island's economic outlook and key stakeholders at the Grand Bahama Port Authority. It's been 60 years since the agreement came into effect, and as the Prime Minister indicated, there is a need for change. Daniel L. Ferguson reports. Major Major proposed changes for the future of Grand Bahama that have the potential to revolutionize the nation's second city of Freeport and change the ownership landscape that has been in place for years. No longer can an entity like the Grand Bahama Port Authority be licensor and licensee, regulator and investor with no rights of appeal by licensees, without inherent conflicts and varying levels of dissatisfaction. What may have served Grand Bahama well in the past no longer obtains, Prime Minister Perry Christie charged, while tabling a three-month extension under the Hawksbill Creek Agreement. They expire on February 4th. He stressed that it is also being recommended that government, for once, be a part of the decision-making process at the Grand Bahama Port Authority. It is a considered view that the presence of the central government of the Bahamas would be able to provide the necessary balance and prevent or minimize the impact of conflict that has existed in the past between shareholders. Internal ownership disputes have stunted the economic growth of Grand Bahama over the years, but Prime Minister Perry Christie said the far-reaching recommendations by the committee would promote new investments. That significant new development is not taking place in Freeport in the same manner as other islands in the Bahamas that have no tax or infrastructural advantage over Freeport. It is for me to note that unemployment is also higher in Freeport and Grand Bahama than in these, some of these other islands. The recommendations submitted by the committee include, but are not limited to, within one year of the extension, secure an international investor to purchase a majority stake of the Grand Bahama Port Authority, a submission of a new master plan within six months of the extension, and the possible introduction of real property tax on undeveloped land. Mr. Christie said the process has taken longer than expected, but he believes that the government, private sector, and the Port Authority can bring the magic back to Freeport, Grand Bahama. Janaya Noel Ferguson, ZNES Network News.